draw him Pachycephalosaurus. So starting with his nose, I already have like a really light sketch. You probably cannot see it with the camera lighting. As well, I'm just drawing in within the face features, getting it all ready. Always start with a gesture, a shape, or anything that you're building for drawing a structure like this. Sometimes you get really complex, but sometimes I actually go all freehand as well. You probably can notice that in some of my videos. <laughs> So this is turning out pretty well and it's just a pretty quick sketch and getting down into detail and everything as an artist. Every artist has, its, has his or hers creativity when designing a dinosaur or a human figure or some pet that you might love or draw as well and every artist has their own creativity. I do have my limitations and to be honest, sometimes when I do have different color tones, they do get a little complex when you're not kind of rushing and not thinking through. Now this one I am already got a plan, I'm going to go from very light to very darks and pretty much um, polish it as it gets down on the paper here. So as well, markers are sometimes very tricky and you always can go back and some people will put paints or certain highlights over the markers. Now the reason why I usually just use a flat base with a lot of my dinosaurs and it looks like a almost like a kid's coloring book which is the simplest way to do as an artist if you want to be very simple and not so detailed but I scan them into my PC and then I put highlights. I can use highlights, I can use special effects and this is why I also mostly go with a nice base flat tone but um, this one is going to be very detailed as well as a flat tone, so it'll be in between. But I love drawing, I love coloring, I've been doing it since I was three years old. So, And I graduated with college as a graphic artist and a commercial artist and also a film productor doing photography. So I love doing this stuff, it's one of my things. And so that's pretty much within the tie of this and I love the dis draw dinosaurs since I was a kid so I get creative sometimes probably too creative and that could actually ruin a picture sometimes so you have to stop and think it through before you design something sometimes sometimes you just have that picture and you just go right into it so it's all up to the artist and you have to use that imagination you know um, I just now completing this and it's looking fantastic and I appreciate everybody coming just to hear me talk about my day as well I'm finished now, it's just talking some real life here and have an awesome day. Thank you for coming to watch me draw Pachycephalosaurus and Pachysaur. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, if, so, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for coming to view, and I'll see you on the next draw. Bye!